Well, hello everyone, this is Tim again and welcome to the tutorials for this week. So, so far in our class we have been learning quite a bit about CSS and last week we did, we sort of got started with some CSS layout and uh, we're going to kind of do that again this week. So uh, a little different, uh, gaining a few more skills and just practicing again. So uh, why don't you pull open Fireworks and Dreamweaver and we're going to kind of start from scratch here and uh, and set this up. So um, I'm going to run do, do a little layout here in Fireworks to get the graphics created. Then we'll export them out of Fireworks back into Dreamweaver and we'll use CSS to lay out our page. We'll use those um, graphical pieces that we had originally created in Fireworks. So I imagine uh, about the same number of tutorials as last week and we'll, I'll try to kind of break them up into obvious pieces. So I'm starting here in Fireworks and I have uh, just a new canvas on the page. I made the background light blue so it's a little easier to see. Um, this canvas, as you can see down here in this corner, is 1000 by 500, which is um, just probably a little bit bigger than we need, but as you know, we can trim off uh, that extra stuff when we're done, any extra space. So uh, I'm going to just start and do a layout here. The one thing I'm not going to do here is I'm not going to create um, any graphical buttons here in Fireworks. We'll use CSS to make our navigation back in, uh, back in Dreamweaver. So um, just a simple layout here. Um, so I'm going to use my rectangle tool to sort of get a base rectangle set up. And I want to get it about the right size. We'll just make this uh, about 950 pixels wide and the height about 400 for now. And uh, I'm going to get this up here at 25 and 25. Okay, so I've just drawn this rectangle out. Um, you can see down there in that lower right hand corner that it's 950 by 400 and 25 pixels by 25 pixels. That's going to be my base rectangle. I'm going to take off the stroke for right now because I want this to be a pretty generic rectangle. Um, it's just going to define mostly the, the dimensions, mostly the width actually of my, uh, of my layout. Okay, so I've got that in there. Now, if uh, I want rounded corners. If my corners are going to be rounded on my on my general layout, now is the time to do that. You can uh, come down here in the stroke category and put on rounded corners. This one I think I'm going to do a little different. Uh, no rounded corners this time. So we're just going to leave it like this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a couple of copies of this rectangle so I can use them for the header and for the footer if I want. So I'm just going to do uh, control C, I mean Apple C or Command C, Control C uh, to copy and I'm going to paste it a couple times. Probably four will be plenty. Okay, so um, I'm going to turn off all of those top ones and lock all of them. Okay, so I'm going to, those are just sort of extra, and I want to hide them and lock them so I don't accidentally uh, work on them. So they're just the raw rectangle. Um, this bottom one, uh, I think I do want a little bit of shadow to give it a little dimension, um, and I want it to be all the way around. So I'm going to do a glow, so that'll put um, the shadow all the way around. And I'm just going to change it to black, so I get this black shadow. And uh, uh, that probably is okay if it's a little thick. I might just go with three to lighten it up a little bit. So just something like that. Just something to give it a little dimension. Okay, so that is going to be okay. Um, we'll leave that. So that's going to sit underneath everything. So I'm done with that. So I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to lock that. And uh, I'm going to turn it off for a minute. And go to the one right above it. Let me do, Let me just rename this. This is going to be my my base rectangle. Okay, and lock that. Unlock the next one right above it. Now I just have one rectangle turned on. Now I'm going to use this one to help me create a header. Um, and I don't need the whole piece. I'm just going to use part of the top here. Um, and if I wanted to uh, get this exactly right, I would bring a guide down if I was really worried about um, the, the size of the header. Okay, so if I put it there, I get a 75 pixel wide header because my my y coordinate up here is 25, and I dr dragged in my line here down to 100, so it's 75 pixels there. I'm going to cut this, so I'm going to use the vector knife, cut across right on that guide. So if I hold down Shift as I drag across, I get a nice straight line all the way across. Okay, let go. Now there's two pieces there. 
I'm going to select the click off of them to deselect them for a minute. Click the bottom one and delete. Okay, and so that leaves me behind that little rectangle that I'll use um, as my header. And I'm going to create a mask. I want uh, a, an image to show up inside of there. So I need to import one in. So I'm going to do file import and uh, um, we've probably got a lot of ones we possibly could use. These, a lot of these sample images that you might have are uh, are a thousand pixels wide, so they should work pretty well. Let's just see. Okay, all right. So we just got to decide which one we want to use. I think maybe. How about this one? Okay, so when I come to import that in, I have two choices. If I click once, I get the whole image all at once, which will be just fine. I'm going to kind of slide it up to about where I kind of am interested in having in my header. Now, that image came in on top. I just need to drag it down here in the layer panel till it's underneath that, that rectangle right there. Okay, so that rectangle shows up on top. Um, and I'm going to use that white rectangle as a mask. All right, so... I'll kind of get it close to where I want, select both pieces, the rectangle and the image, and under Modify Mask, there is a Group as Mask. Okay, So all that's left now is that image. Now if I need to adjust where the image is underneath that mask, I'm probably going to zoom out a bunch because I have to grab onto that little handle and I can adjust the picture underneath the mask. I just want to be careful not to pull it too much side to side. Um, because that will cause it to come out from underneath, and then I can zoom back in to, to whoop, too far to see where I'm to see where I'm working better. Okay, so maybe something like that will uh, will do for our mask. Now, if I if I wanted this to be black and white, I can still select that image, and uh, I can use the preset up here under Creative, convert to grayscale. If I decide I want that black and white. Um, if I want this image to fade out, I can still select that rectangle and put a um, linear gradient on it and have a fade happening and I can adjust that fade and I'm not going to go into that too much because I think we've played with that a lot in uh, last tutorial so let me just undo this I think I'll you know what I kind of like the the black and white I'm going to put that back in okay all right so that is going to be my header let me zoom in a little bit here um, Okay, so there's my header. That's what I'm going to use um, as the header. Now, if I want to kind of see how it looks, how it's laid out, I'm going to I can turn on that base rectangle, and uh, I can see that I've got a nice header showing up at the top of the page. Okay, so um, I would like a nice black border all the way around this. So I'll, I'm going to lock my header there, and turn on the next rectangle, and it's on top of everything, so it kind of hides everything. Unlock it, and then on this rectangle. Uh, I'm just going to put a black stroke on and then tell it that I want no none in the fill. So you can see what it leaves behind. Get rid of this guide. Um, what it leaves behind is just um, a little black border, which goes all the way around. Now, with that black border on there, um, let me just change the magnification here a bit. Um, I have to kind of decide what 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 else I want on this layout. Like, for instance, this um, image where it comes into the the body down here, uh, it looks like it could use some sort of divider. So I'm just going to use a black line. So I'm going to just pick up that black line, and I'll draw it out here, holding down Shift, try to get it about right. Um, but if it's not right, I can go fix it. So um, it kind of snapped to 950, which is the width that I knew I was going for. Um, it's 26 on the X, so we we'll, might have to move that over a little bit. I'd want to zoom in here on the ends. And uh, maybe that needs to go up a little bit. Scroll over to that side. Um, that seems OK. So I can just draw a little black line there, which may look uh, uh, may help it look a little nicer. Okay, so maybe that's about all I want. I am going to um, put some text on here. Now I can put the text on in, for my header. That is, I can put the text on over in uh, Dreamweaver and get there using a uh, heading tag and um, a little CSS. Um, but if I, I can do it here as well. So let's say um, I'm going to drop a little in. 
Okay, so maybe my website is uh, how about Mr. Stacks fourth grade. Okay, so I've got this little hoop. I'll just not pull down shift. Okay, there's my little text, and I'll maybe I'll stick it right down over here. And uh, I gotta decide if I like how that looks. I might try putting a little stroke around that. And uh, if we zoom in a bit more closer to 100%, uh, that'll start looking a little bit nicer. All right, so. Um, Let's see this at 100% because my text looks a little funny. Okay, so I could leave the text like that. Of course, most of you know um, if I wanted a drop shadow, that'll make it you know stand out maybe a little bit more if I needed something like that. Okay, so we won't play too much with that. You guys can uh, you guys get the idea there. All right, now I'm about finished with this, so I'm going to save this PNG. Okay, and uh, let's see. I've got a root folder on the desktop. Um, that one right there. It's got some images. Uh, yeah, we'll just put it inside of here. Okay. All right, so this is going to be my fourth grade layout. That just gets the, uh, the PNG saved for me. Okay, so now I've got the PNG saved. A couple of things I need to do is I need to fit the canvas. Okay, so I just click Fit Canvas. If you click Fit Canvas and it does a funny thing, like it it, it cuts the canvas um, funny, you can always come up to Modify Canvas and do Trim. Sometimes that'll work a little bit better, um, especially if you've got a big picture that you've masked. Sometimes the mask ends up that that image still sort of registers. So you might have to do this Trim Canvas. Um, okay, the other thing I want to do is make sure I like my background color. Let me just. Uh, see here, I might want a little richer color blue and uh, make that a little lighter. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, maybe I want a little darker color in the background like that. Okay, save those changes. Alright, so we're going through this kind of quick, um, but it is a review. So uh, I'm about ready to take this over to Dreamweaver uh, but before I do, I need to tell Fireworks how I want it cut up. Now, I really only need this cut up into three pieces. So I need a, a, a section cut out for the header. Um, I need a section cut out for the main body, and then a section that gives me my footer, my lower my, my lower edge down there. So three slices is all I'm uh, uh, all I'm going to need. Okay, so uh, if I look over here, I've got some web tools. So I'm just going to roughly draw a slice up here all the way across the whole canvas. I've got to include um, the, um, the shadow. And uh, I'm just going to get it roughly close, especially down here on the bottom. I'll, I'll, I'll want to go adjust that. So I'm going to get the three slices drawn. And then especially down here on the bottom, I want to zoom in and sort of see where my slice is happening. So see how this slice is happening below that bottom line? It needs to be above. Um, because remember, this middle section is the section that's going to tile. And uh, I don't I want it to be clean all the way across so when it tiles, I don't see any little artifacts hanging out. All right, so there we have it. That looks good. I'm going to check the far side. That all looks good. Make sure I've sliced all edge to edge. Okay, good deal. All right, so with that, I'm just going to do File, and now we're going to Export. And again, I want to make sure I get here to the right spot um, into my folder. Now, I'm going to make a new folder here um, because there's going to be a few files here. So this is my fourth grade layout. Um, Okay, so when I export this, I get everything. I don't want to, uh, I want it all slices, so I have to make sure that's unchecked where it says selected slices only. I include areas without slices. We don't have any, but that's okay. I want HTML and images, and all the rest is okay. So into that folder. Okay, so that just was exported out of Fireworks. So um, we're done with Fire, Fireworks right now. We've just uh, created a, a simple layout with a couple of graphics, and uh, we're going to go to over Dreamweaver now and uh, have a look.